Good night and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, a resounding 58% victory. Doug Ducey with a, a win that he said he thinks his family, his supporters, and of course you saw Cindy McCain on stage with him. He owes a lot of that support that she has endorsed him. Arizona loves Cindy McCain. Arizona, he says, we're all Arizonans, we're all Americans, and we get to work tomorrow, even if you didn't vote for me, he says. You know, the entire McCain family is very close, is very, very close yeah. with the Ducey family. Uh, they're two political families that absolutely adore and support each other. We read a tweet from Megan McCain earlier tonight, singling out Doug Ducey, saying for everybody to go out and vote for him tonight. So no surprise to see Cindy McCain up on the stage with Governor Ducey tonight. And boy, he dominated. He won in a landslide here. Uh, and I thought it was really, um, I thought it was nice to hear Governor Ducey right there in the speech say, really extending an olive branch uh, to those who did not vote for him, those who voted for David Garcia. And he said, listen, uh, for those of you who voted for me, thank you. Uh, for those of you who did not vote for me, I still work for you. I am your governor. And I thought that that was very classy of the governor to do. Absolutely. And uh, we thought that early on, there was a lot of critics who said that uh, this would be a, a much closer race because of Red for Ed. We had right. the, the statewide teacher walkout. It lasted a full week. And of course, David Garcia Garcia with uh, the t teachers uh, in his corner for much of the time. Yeah. But, you know, Governor Ducey talked about teachers getting the raise. That He's they the one deserve. that gave them the 20%, he I believe, 20% raise. They're getting over the, the next raise they of deserve. Years. Yeah. He talked about our very strong economy, taking us from a billion dollar deficit to a billion dollar surplus, and finally in a position where we have more jobs than we have workers to fill them, saying that this is a changed Arizona. Yeah, it, it's really interesting because I think everybody saw David Garcia make a play to win over the teachers for the Red for Ed movement. It didn't happen. And, and it didn't happen because the governor came in and the governor started to negotiate with the teachers and finally said, all right, I'm going to give you that 20% raise over the next couple of years. Yeah. And took away all the steam uh, from David Garcia uh, to come in and really have a chance against the governor.